eliminate them or, or what they're going to do. We don't know, but I suspect the way things are going, um, you know, we're, we, we, we should be prepared. You know, for people who may not know this, there's only there's four OTBs in, in the state of New York. Used to be five. New York City went belly up and closed. There's now there's four. And those four are Nassau Suffolk County OTB on the Long Island, us at Catskill, Capital, which goes north of us all the way to the Canadian border, uh, and Western New York, which picks up like at Syracuse and heads over to Buffalo. And the difference in them in that it's really interesting is that Western New York has Batavia Downs, a racetrack, and VLT machines, the slot machine type things, to use to, to boost their revenue. So they're making a profit for their counties. Uh, Cap Nassau Suffolk, just under a previous bill a couple of years ago, got VLTs or slot machines to be used in their OTBs. It so happens that some of the leaders in the Senate were from Long Island. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, that, that's how that happened, I think. Uh, but anyway, they got it. Nobody else got it. And so that leads the two other ones, which are Capital District and, and Catskill. Uh, Capital is a little different in that it's, it's very aggressive. It has its own television station. It has its own major uh, casino where you can actually go in and have high-end restaurants and, and, and play the horses and, and, and just it's a very nice location in Albany and they uh, and they have everything we have but they have and they have a very aggressive uh, advanced deposit uh, wagering uh, wagering uh, platform and they're, they're everywhere if, if you go around the, the region you'll see them advertising so they have a different model especially with their television uh, studio any place in their region you can turn on their channel and watch racing live from across the country and Catskill is the fourth one and we have none of those Okay, thank you. Um, I, I, I also see um, Majority Leader Benelli. I know that we're trying to get, cut this short, so I, I don't want to whatever, but I'm going to finish it up with um, Majority Leader Benelli, and then we're going to go on to the second one so that we're kind of in time constraints today. So thank you for all that information, Michael. Uh, I'm going to help you here, Kathy. <laughs> okay. That, um, just to, um, as far as the time, I'm is concerned because when you look at the agenda and and there was a very valid question that was asked okay if we're not paying into it then what's what's the big you know what what's the push to leave we're not talking about that but we're talking about uh looking at our options and in looking at the options a lot of things that michael said there's otbs that seem to be obviously are, are pretty well are a lot more successful than ours has been. And this is even before, as Kevin mentioned, uh, before the pandemic, we really weren't receiving any more money. So how are they doing things differently and what should we be doing? Which ties us to your next agenda item. Right. And one of the things that we need to do is we need to put, there's a vacancy uh, from Orange County on that commission. And we need to be able to fill that vacancy with a strong individual that's going to have our back and is going to be a voice and come back to us and explore all the options and hopefully be able to answer some of the outstanding questions in that, uh, you know, where is that money going to, you know, how is it being utilized? Because uh, it is that pot of money and we want to know really where it is and, and how do we make sure that we in Orange County get our just due. So that kind of helps me lead you into. I was just going to say, you just item. led me right into the next topic. So um, I, I, it wasn't it wasn't my idea initially, but it kind of worked out that way. So. Correct, correct. So you you kind you kind of filled it all in. What you want to leave here today with is two things. Is two things. First of all, a recommendation for. Um, to move forth with filling the vacancy and a recommendation from this committee recognizing that there's a lot to be explored here and we all want to work together to get those answers and see if we can make some kind of difference in what the other options may be out there and start to uh, you know, unfold and start to look at some of these things. So if we can get that consensus from the committee today and uh, I believe a name is going to be brought forth for the appointment and that's going to be something that is recommended. This committee can only recommend, and that's going to be something that is sent off to the rules committee for next month. So 
with that, I will let the chairperson take over. <laughs> Okay, and, and on that one, then we will close out the discussion. We will um, continue to have this discussion um, as new information comes in and, and we move forward on this. Um, but the second um, part of the agenda, I will need a um, motion for. It's to fulfill the appointment to fulfill the empty board seat um, on the directors for the Catskill Regional Off-Track Betting Corporation. Bureau motion. I'll make second. Table. Okay, and um, I'm going to open that up for discussion. I know that um, the person who has um, whose name has been put forth for this is uh, Mr. Ben Oster. Um, we've kind of sat down and talked to him a little bit. He is he is interested. I know that he would be a great fit for representing us in Orange County. Um, not only does he come with an extensive background, but he also comes with the legal background, which I think would help us to answer a lot of the questions that we've discussed in the previous segment of this agenda and in the previous agenda. Um, so it, um, I'm going to open that up on the floor for um, any motions or if anybody agrees with that or discussion. And Mr. Amo, I see that you have your hand up. Yeah, I, I, I think Ben, I think Ben would be a terrific individual for that. And uh, since I'm not from the same party as I maybe I have a greater weight to that that, that validation of it. Uh, I think he'd be a great Born person. Now. You you mentioned <laughs> that <laughs> you mentioned that he uh, had all the good background of legal, but there's one thing in his resume you need to look kind of carefully at. His first law practice as a law and attorney was at uh, was at Hempstead Turnpike in Elmont, New York, right across the street from Belmont Park. So Mr. Oster grew up and started law, had a practice, was real close to the racetrack. I Are know you for implying that he spent his lunches there? <laughs> I would I would never say that, but I know that he knows a lot about horses because he and yes. I've talked a lot about them. So he does have a familiarity with he's not just a pretty face. Okay, well, and I, would, I, I second it, and I think it's a good idea to, that we should consider him, especially what you said, uh, Chairwoman, is that, you know, we may get tangled into some questions regarding that particular direct board of directors and ourselves, and he'd be the perfect person to get us the right answer for it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Chairwoman Benelli, you had your hand next. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, uh, I do support this nomination and, and, and I support it for, first of all, some of the things that have been said previously, but when it comes to this gaming committee, we have been very, very fortunate to have an individual in Michael Amo that has a really um, involved interest in this industry and is very involved on various different levels. So anybody that he would recommend to fill this slot, which now is probably more important than it ever was, I, I, would, I would thoroughly support. And I know that he talked about some other names and things like that, but uh, I, I do support this. Uh, obviously, I do know Ben. Uh, I think he's more than capable to do this. He has the interest, the interest to do it. And with the support of Michael Amo, that goes a long way as far as I'm concerned with this committee. So. Okay, thank you so much. And Legislator Vero, floor is now yours. Thank you, Chairwoman. I did speak with Ben Oster yesterday on the telephone. He uh, is definitely interested. I've known Ben for over 30 years. And uh, I think right now, with what changes we're possibly entertaining, to have another attorney on board is probably a good thing right now. He's a uh, He's had a farm, he's owned horses too, so he's been in and around that uh, even more extensively as uh, Legislator Amo had mentioned. So I think it's a good fit for us right now and what we are looking to do, or at least being guided to look to see what we can do. And I fully support that. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. 
And not seeing any other hands, um, I would like to call a vote for the recommendation to submit Ben Oster's name to the vacancy for the Catskill Region Off-Track Betting Corporation. You, is it a voice vote or do you want to roll call? Um, Kelly, can we do a roll call? We can, and this would be the motion to bring it forward to the Rules Committee, correct? This would be a motion to bring it forward, our recommendation to the Rules Committee, correct? Okay. Amo? Yes. Yes. Benelli? Yes. Hines? Yes. Lulasek? Yes. Lujan? Aye. O'Donnell? Yes. Vero? Yes. Stiganga. Yes. Eight eyes. Okay. Well, thank you all very much. I, that clears our agenda for today. Um, it gives everybody time to get 